Hello guys. Video psych here. Yeah, it took me a little bit longer to pick up the pen that time, didn't it? <laughs> but anyway, I don't have a real long time to talk right now, but I did decide to kind of make this somewhat emergency video. It's not like a major emergency or anything. I'm not going to say something like that, but man, I mean, Jesus, there is just, because in the past couple of days now, I have been looking around and decided to do a bit of an update on, you know, some of the, you know, loved all sites, because I know that for the past couple of years, there's been some more sites that have been coming up, and I knew that there's been a ton of them coming out. But, man, this, in the past couple of years, especially since 2020, it has just been, oh my God, just one love doll or sex doll site coming out after another. And I've got to say, the majority of them that have been coming out are just scam sites. And... Some, lots of times I can actually just tell by looking at them and sometimes I'm not so sure some of these sites are actually starting to look better than the than the legit sites that are out now and so sometimes I can tell by looking at them and sometimes I can't tell just by looking at them and I have to look up some things you know <laughs> you know things and such but and also there's this guy asking me, about a couple sites in particular at least. He just asked me on my how to shop for love dolls online sites request as well. Of course all the sites that I requested on this video are not all legitimate sites but I did request them because they at the very least gave you you know the product that you paid for but they are some of them are not very good sites, just so you know, but I just recommended them because people just seem to be getting these, buying from these sites anyway sometimes. But moving on from that. And so he asked me, any experience or knowledge on the trustworthiness of either HG Doll, my robot doll, or the doll channel? And I'm like, oh, the, jo the doll channel, I've actually heard of that place, you know, and so I, was, I didn't have to really research that one. And the doll channel, he it's one of the very few of only, I would say, love doll stores that actually has their own YouTube channel that is actually active. And from what I've seen, I mean, their store is legit, although a, a bit, there's their store page kind of needs a bit of work from what I've seen. But as far as being legit, I from what I've seen, they're legit, and even their look channels a legit deal. I'm thinking that probably the reason why they haven't really updated much at times on their site to make and make it look better is because they're just a very busy person, I think. But otherwise, I didn't really see anything wrong with that site. But you know, moving on from that, I answer his question here. And I say, <laughs> the doll channel looks legit. My robot doll looks like it can be legit, but it could. I couldn't find any legit reviews, so I am a bit skeptical skeptical about that site. An HD doll, I found mixed answers and can't say they're legit and could be counterfeit doll and be making counterfeit dolls. I don't have personal experience with these places. However, if you look around a lot and can't find any conclusive answers when trying to figure out if a doll vendor is legit or not, it most likely isn't. And I would either wait for a legit review or just not trust it at all and just never buy from them is what I would do. Just in general, if you seriously, if you seriously you know, like myself, have at least managed to, you know, garter some, you know, scam sites, you know, find skills, I guess I would call it. And you keep on looking around, you keep on looking around, and you, you seriously can't just confirm that a site is legit or not. I mean, of course, sometimes going to asking people, you know, around sometimes is a good thing to also do for the people that actually seem to have a job in it. But as far as 
you know, just finding anything conclusive, like there's no real pictures, real life pictures of these dolls. There's no real life reviews from anybody, you know, that's just a person that bought from them, you know, or just any channels that have covered on them, you know, just, <laughs> if you seriously just can't find anything that just says this is legitimate, you know, that is outside of, obviously, the doll vendor themselves that are obviously just going to say they're legit anyway, probably, of course, then I just would just be like, no, they're probably not legit. Although, to be fair, some of these places are new, so like I said, you know, sometimes maybe just wait a bit. Make, and so in some cases, they could be legit, but, you know, sometimes they aren't. And, and But recently, it seems like the majority of these love doll vendors that have been coming out are just not legit places. And they're just selling, either selling, se you know, ugh, excuse me. They're either, you know, selling fake love dolls or they're just completely scamming you. <laughs> Uh, but I would say the majority of them are just selling fake love dolls that, and they're just calling them the brands that are real, like they're trying to act like the real brands anyway, even though they're not basically. But so in this case, there are so many of them out now. In fact, that I don't think any one person can actually look into all these sites, even if it's their job and figure out if they are all fake. Although there are at least some people out there that are at least trying to do a good job of doing so. And I am recommending you guys look into a site which I have I have put in the description. It is called it is called Sex Doll Reviews, basically. And this is a person who is running a blog and he is basically taking up arms against all of these <laughs> you know fake love all sides and I will read the first part of the site for you guys but once you guys go below and look at the comments and people asking this person whether a site is leg legitimate or not you will see is the site legitimate no is the site legitimate no is the site legitimate no and I'm just like oh my god just look at all these fake sites and there was only like maybe a few of them where he said, yes, they're legit, go and, and buy from them. <laughs> like there's just so many, so many of these love doll sites that are just not legit. And so let's see here. Yeah. And so here's the first part here. I've, he puts reliable sex doll suppliers. I finally put a list of honest suppliers in order to be on in my list. Suppliers need to meet these criteria. You can find more on my criteria method here, you know, and in that link there. And then he's, he names them off here. Sell the original brands. It's a must. And then next one. Forget about store offering more than 15% more than 15% discounts unless they boosted their price to give you the impression that you are actually saving a course which plenty of stores actually do <laughs> if they do this they will send you a cheap counterfeit doll a few legit stores have been caught doing this lately though so just keep that in mind do not and do not sell cheap dolls that are Severely cheap, that is. Some suppliers sell original brands and cheap replicas. Have a phone number where someone actually answers. No phone number, forget about it, of course. Yeah, if you definitely never see or don't see a phone number on a loved all site or just any site in general that you are looking at, I just will not trust it. And if you try to pick up a phone and it Oh, and it constantly, yeah, they constantly act like they are busy or, you know, you just get a dead, you know, phone tone. I would just not trust it. The next one, speaker, speak proper English and reply quickly to emails or phone messages. You need proper customer service, obviously. Next one, they need to have dolls in stock 
immediately available for shipping. The most important of all, you need serious people that invested in their businesses, obviously. Next one, not use any urgency method or any other old trick to force a sale. No bullshit needed. And I completely agree with that. Next one, they have been to China and have visited the factories that they are dealing with. They mean serious business, plus they have a better relationship with the companies they deal with, obviously. Next one, they are not using any fake reviews. They are easy to spot. They are short, and they most likely say something like exactly like on the pics, best doll ever, I'm so happy with her, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. No bullshit needed, and I completely agree. Of course, the fact that they, that I can personally vouch for a company should make you feel secure. <laughs> okay. So we're just supposed to trust him, right? Well, I mean, from what I've seen, I haven't really seen any bullshit from him, so that's fine. And he requests a few sites, you know. If I say these sites are, are, you know, based in America or Europe, European areas. And there's a sex doll shop, which I've even checked out before, actually. It is from what I've I haven't bought from there. But from what I've seen, it is a legit site. But that's just coming from me. I and it even looks like a good one too. They they actually have plenty of good selections from what I've seen. And I haven't really seen anything wrong with this site, so he recommends that as number one, actually. And number two, he puts real doll. Which, you know, people tend to debut down on, but, you know, what can you say? But he shows that it's a legit place, of course, and, you know, I got one too, so I know that they're, that they're legit. You know, everything. And then he also, at number three, requests Silicon Wives. And I've been to Silicon Wives before, but, of course, never, you know, bought from them. But, yeah, they are also legit, a legit sign, he says so as well. And then there's number four, which is used used sex dolls. I've been to the site too, and obviously I tend to prefer just getting my love dolls, you know, fresh out of the oven, but so to speak, you know, brand new. But I mean, if you, I guess if you didn't mind it, and you know they're cleaned properly, which I'm guessing this place obviously does, they just properly clean it up and everything. Maybe fix up a few. From what I've seen, they actually do repair them too. So, that is from what I've seen, yes, a legit site. And then, moving on from that, come on. Here, I need a drink. Ugh. And then you put suppliers to avoid. I won't make a list to spare me legal issues, but just to avoid all websites that are offering deals that are too good to be true, sites claiming that they can offer a legit $800 that is usually sold for $2,000 because they cut the middleman is purely and simply trying, is simply lying to you. They will use legit companies, promotion, content to sell you a piece of crap. And this, like I said, has been happening a lot more often, especially since the pandemic. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I feel sorry for you guys. I mean, anybody that during, during the pandemic, they needed something to, you know, have at the time, and they ended up getting completely scammed. I completely feel sorry for any of you that this happened to, by the way. And I know this has probably happened to quite a bit of people. In the past year or two. And, move, and he goes on. You don't want to get ripped off. Question mark. Stick with the reliable sex doll suppliers. List above. And you will never have any type of problems. You don't find your dream doll. On one of these websites. Then do not do not forget to check. If the website which you will buy from. Meets my list of requirements above. It is literally a jungle out there and try not to be the prey and just like i said there's just 
tons of them out there. Oh my god. Just tons. There is also something quite new that I saw lately in sex doll websites and it's is suppliers that are offering without any doubt counterfeit dolls. I can recognize those because of the prices and they are also offering dolls at legit prices as well or are starting to. So it's fair to ask ourselves are they in fact selling counterfeit dolls at the price of legit dolls? This is kind of worrisome. Just be very careful when you buy your doll. If you're not sure you can always shoot a question on his site and blah blah blah. And he also has a YouTube channel. And I have actually checked it out and it's actually a pretty neat you know little channel that he has. He actually gives out reviews. It's it's called www.sexdollsreviews.review or dot com, basically whatever. So that's his YouTube channel. And I mean it's pretty neat from what I've seen. I don't see anything wrong with it, you know. And he's just, you know, bringing out a good, a decent camera out and just showing what these dolls look like, pretty much. Which is what I typically try to do. I just try to not bullshit people, you know, <laughs> of what the products are. But, yeah. And what, what I was at first going to do for this video was I was going to actually look up a ton of sites and regard them as legit or not. But it's like I said, when I looked at how many sites there are out there nowadays, I was just like, wow. You know, there are just so many sites. And even when I was looking at his site, there were even times when people were asking him if his site was legit. And he said he wasn't sure yet. He hasn't made it, he hasn't had to make, been able to make the time yet. Or hasn't heard of this site yet, you know. There's just way too many sites out there. And it would take literally a team of people, you know, to outright quit their jobs. Out, It would take me to quit my job and do all this research on all these sites just to be able to keep up if that's even possible for, like I said, one person to do. It would take an enormous amount of effort to be able to point out every single one of these non-legitimate sites. And it's like I said before, from what I've seen, the list of non-legitimate sites when it comes to love dolls is way bigger than a legit, you know, list. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Uh, but of course, if you guys have any questions or if you want me to just look at a site in particular, but if I come back to you and I say I couldn't even, you know, see if it was legit or not, and like I said, if I can't figure out if it's legit or not, then it's probably not <laughs> a legit site. <laughs> but it's like I said, some of these sites are fairly new, so I will at least keep that in mind and try to give them a chance. And it's just like when Star Starfleet first came out and I first heard of them. Of course, I was a little bit skeptical because there, there have been a number of times when a company a new company supposedly comes out for love dolls and they say shit like, Oh, you know, we got, we're doing blah, blah, blah. We're creating the future, blah, blah, blah. Hey, look at all of our neat tech, blah, 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 kind of bullshit. And there have been several times I've seen a site like that and they ha had turned out to be a complete scam. And so at first I was, let's say kind of skeptical of star pre, but it looks like they're at least, for the most part, a legitimate site, although I'm not sure if I'm buying from them because nowadays there's like, I don't know, like a hundred-ish, you know, different types of doll brands now, it seems like. I mean, I haven't really counted them, but I think you, I think you guys get the point. It's just, like he said, it's just a fucking jungle out there, <laughs> you know? It, but from what I've seen, I mean, the Starpy dolls are at least kind of looking more like you know, something that I would buy, I guess, but, you know, there's just so many choices out there nowadays. You know, like, even back when I first got my first TPE and doll, it took me days to, you know, think, hey, this is the doll that I want. 
but now there's so many brands out there and so many options and looks out there that I'm just like, it's overwhelming. <laughs> it's just overwhelming nowadays with this love doll stuff. I mean, Jesus. I mean, do we really have this many brands now? I mean, just think of what it's going to be like even five years from now, or especially 10 years. I mean, just just insane, you know? But, of course, that being said, I'll just end the video here, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one, of course. If you guys have any more questions, comments, etc., just lay them down. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.